the immeasurable existence is Brahman. And the Upanishads declare, I am Atma Brahma. This self is Brahman. It pertains to the knowledge of Brahman. And it pertains to the knowledge of the self. For Brahman is to be known only in a non-objective manner. And the self is to be known as the pure, unalloyed existence that it is. What is this self? That is, what is your very existence? Though there is nothing apart from the existence, for the existence itself there is nothing else at all. Try to discern the existence, the innermost consciousness, as it is. It is not a body and it is not embodied. The attributes of the body and the qualities of the body do not pertain to that. The limitations of the body, the conditions of the body, do not pertain to that. Likewise, the action and inaction of the body do not pertain to that. The birth and death of the body do not pertain to that. Attributeless, qualityless, actionless, unborn and imperishable. Such is your existence. And this very existence, this very self, is Brahman, of the nature of being, consciousness, bliss. Though nothing is known apart from the consciousness that knows it, the consciousness itself, innermost, is not to be equated with what is conceived. Whatever is conceived in thought is not this self. If you do not regard yourself as being anything produced by thought, anything conceived in thought, what remains? That which remains is true knowledge. If the limitation of the falsely assumed individuality is cast off as being unreal, one finds that this self, one's very existence, is Brahman.
in Brahman, the infinite and the eternal. is found all peace and all happiness and all freedom. To abide in such, abide as such. Abidance is knowledge. not something sensorially perceived, not something mentally conceived, but true knowledge, non-objective knowledge, knowledge in which one's very being is the knowledge. Inquire, inquire within, who am I, what is the self? According to the definition attributed to the self, all else will appear. Who am I? What is this self? To know this self with transcendent knowledge is to know reality. Brahman is reality. The self alone exists. If there appears to be anything other at any time, inquire for whom it is. Clarity of knowledge regarding the self reveals there is nothing else ever. Reality is only one. The self is only one. For the sake of lasting peace, for the sake of perfectly full happiness and for the sake of freedom from all of the imagined bondage. Know this self. 